So just as I was kind of wandering around, it changed to noon, and lo, the main quest is active. Whoopee. Maybe. I'm actually just kind of want to run around and see if, uh, what's going on up here. What do you want? It's the thing today. I wonder if it's thanks to this coin. Where do you find it? Before noon and day in the third floor hallway. Pretty cool, right? Okay. Nice. That triggers that coin being activated, yeah? Second, a main quest thing appears. Do not let it slip away. Let me tell you. You're Carmen, right? Aka, was it? What do you need? I'm pretty busy right now, if you don't mind. If he has some bitter on me, you would be really help me. Uh, I just need one. Bear shrimps. Sorry, I can't spare any. How come? I can't eat bell peppers because they're too bitter. But if I sprinkle some bitter shrimp on them, the bitterness of the mushroom covers up the bitter sweet oh, the ball, ball, oh, the ball peppers. Can't read that very well. All that just eat bell peppers? Don't say it like that. You have no idea what it's like for me. If you hate them so much, why not just eat around them? I would be letting the peppers win. That's why I cover them with bitter shrimp before I eat them. So they get even more bitter. Exactly. So you see, I need to keep my bitter shrimp supply up to when the time points. When the time comes. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Well, now I can go to the courtyard, so let's hurry on over there. So it's uh, hopping to skip away, isn't it? You. Oh, so we kept the note from the other time. Oh, thank God, that would have been a pain to walk away at that tower. Blue water heads for the sea. That's probably in the sewer. Yeah, because goddess can't see your feet, the statue. Oh, did you hear the rumors about the doll too? So that's why you're here too? Well, it sounded interesting. I was looking forward to seeing what kind of dance it would do. I don't think it's here. I guess it was just a rumor. It might still be too early to say. That's not like you, Amanda, bleeding in silly stuff like this. The person who saw it said it appeared at night. At night? At night? I see. Well, I'm gonna stick around a bit. Hmm. Okay, so I would think, um... So polluted water heads for the sea. I feel like that implies the sewer. So let's go visit the sewer real quick, yeah? Um get where I even am. Yeah, I gotta head to the right. Yep, I'm right. There, let's see. Oh, another code. The hanging curve crosses running water. Oh, one of the bridges. That's obvious. Hello? Hey, who are you? Huh? A ninja? Oh, Waka, it's you. And, uh, you are? I'm Marianne, but call me Mary. So, uh, what are you doing here, Mary? Do you even go to Ludanova? I do. Try and find me if you want to know more. You'd figure ninjutsu would be a thing in this universe. Just saying. What was that all about?
let's head to the school grounds because we're gonna cut go to the vestibule anyway, aren't we? Should have went the other way. Okay. Well, it would be like Akko to get to run the wrong way. I I do it often myself, you know. It's not on that bridge, maybe it's on the other bridge. Yep. There we go, now where's the next one? The spiral that aspires to ever greater heights. Ah, uh, that's gonna be the frickin' tower, which is what we're on our way to, so I'm good with that. What, did, wasn't the first note on the top of the tower? Huh. I get, uh, this coin, it's a coin, isn't it? Yeah. Let's head to the tower again, I guess. So big and imposing. What even is this? Can I levitate here? Oh! Alright, let's go! Okay, there's a door over there we just gotta float to. That's pretty clever, honestly. Okay. I think I have a silver key. Alright, got a new constellation. And now it's two. I'm two. What? Oh, I thought we were like warped out of here or something. Or we better not. Alright, now I got the Libra. Alright, that was a pretty clever hiding spot. I wonder like those tiny mouse holes we've been seeing. Like maybe those will take us to special areas, you know? I can't imagine where else they could go. And I like how as it's turning, you can't actually see that doorway. So that's your clue. But... What? I just this kind of left. So the spiral that spires to ever greater heights. But we already found the first clue here. And he's at the bottom of the spire. Or it could be... the Astronomy Tower. That's the only other spire I can think of. Clearly it's not here. Do I have... Yeah. I really don't care about activating this one, but since I'm here anyway, I'll just do it. Completion's sake. Um... Alright. An event already did in the school grounds. A front gate event that I seemingly did not do. 
even though I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, 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 no. That's probably where, like, the coin is. Is there a coin at the front gate? Either way, I don't care too much about collecting these coins. I'm going to lose them when the cycle resets. I'm not going to remember to bring them the whole brook in time. Does this mean to help Carmen with her problem? Uh, we got like two main quest things. Help Carmen and go to the courtyard at night. And then either way, the quest isn't giving us any indication where we gotta go. But since Carmen has a culinary problem, then naturally we'd have to uh, get Josmika's help. Maybe Josmika will teach us culinary magic. They'll be able to do the side quests that involve, um, you know, food. Like the tea. I bet with Finland we gotta use culinary magic on the tea or something. It's like, my, this tastes pretty good. You've outdone yourself, Cogarty. But no extra credit. <laughs> and that's a, um, coin I'm starting to use. Oh, it's a old thing. Alright, well that's progress. In the making. Yum. But you like it too, but do you think finish eating before sharing your thoughts? <laughs> What's going on? This it's Bianca's Well you made you made that Bianca? That's amazing. Thanks, Sako. Cooking, cooking's actually one of my favorite hobbies. Eileen's been kind enough to be my taste tester. Bianca's stream is the one day open up a run fancy magic easing restaurant. Oh, she can be good friends with Jasmika. Eileen, you're embarrassing me. The witch restaurant? That would be so much fun. Can I taste test for you sometime too? Oh, you're making me blush. Okay, I'll tell you the next time I make something really good. Yay, thanks, Bianca. Was that a side quest? Oh, here's one. Have you seen Jasmika, Akko? Oh, we're, we, we, we would like Jasmika, actually. We'd like her for something. Any particular reason you're asking? I just wanted to get some cooking tips from her. I'm going home next week, and I thought I'd make some tasty treats for my family. That's nice of you. So just make us a good cook, huh? I, I had no idea, but she seems like the type who knows her food, right? I guess so. I wonder where just make it could be. So just make us anywhere. She's in the cafeteria. What are you doing? What are they doing? What are you up to? Oh, hi, Akko. It's a super spicy showdown. What well, is? There's an argument about who could eat the super spicy mushroom that Susie left. Sarah and Alfred are facing off over who can handle the most spice. Yeah, that sounds exciting. I don't see the point of it all. Arguing gets you nowhere. So who's winning? It could go either way. Hey, I resent that. I've had far spicier food than her. What are you talking about? I eat way more spicy food than you do. We a super spicy showdown, so it all comes down to who can stomach the spicier snack. Know what? You can't claim victory after a tiny little nibble. Yeah, yeah. You both sound like bratty kids. But you didn't hear what Alfred said. 
You should hear what Sarah said then. Why don't you just you can eat sissy super spicy mushroom and decide the winner that way? You hear that, Alfred? Alfred. Sounds like Chloe wants to kill us. Yeah, I thought she was way better than that. Where'd she get such a dreadful idea? Hey, watch it. It was a suggestion to end this petty fight of yours. That's one of Susie's mushrooms we're talking about here. There's no way it can be good for you. Maybe so, but it wouldn't kill you, right? Straight faced girls like you are so naive. What do you think, Gakko? I wouldn't touch that thing unless you've got a death wish. See? There you go. So I guess the super spicy showdown is a draw? Seems like it's not worth dying over, that's for sure. I'm happy calling it a tie. Okay. Alright, what about you, snooty girls? These royal bubble scones are fit for a king. Sweet melt in the mouth goodness. I could eat them all day and never get sick of them. Those look pretty good. They are. Unfortunately, there aren't any for you, Akko. Come on, you can spare one. You wouldn't appreciate their refined flavor. They'd just be wasted on you. I wanted to hear her laugh. I bet those involve culinary magic. Um, is just Mika in here? That's the question. I'll never be able to find her in time, unfortunately. And... our change. Um, something in here. Definitely. Uh, Alright, let's head to the dorms and sleep the day. Oh, a warp! Okay, that'll be uh, handy, I think. Can't believe I never noticed that one there. Have I really never gone to this corner before? What are you doing? Do you think it would be okay for me to borrow this, Lako? You mean Nightfall? Yeah, it was just lying there when I came in, and, I, and I'm in the mood to read again. I don't see any harm in it as long as you return it later. Sounds good. What's wrong? You look all flustered. Did you see a book lying here? There's a copy of Nightfall, yes. Do you know where it went? Henrietta borrowed it. What? Oh! Because, <laughs> you know, uh, Babcock actually likes Nightfalls implied in the, sh in the show. I like how she went all pale. Are you okay, Professor Babcock? You're looking for the book that was here? Yes, yes I am! That copy of Nightfall is very important to me! I see... If someone has taken it to read, please get it back from them right now! Me? Who else do you see around here? Okay then... So I wonder where she went. Oh, Tenetta. Well, we might as well run up to our room and pass the time. Because nothing else is going on, eh? I wonder if, um... We have to stop Henrietta from taking it in the new cycle. See what's going on in this classroom first, hey? What? Wow, this ain't the classroom.
Uh, you're the love side quest. Uh, you want a four-leaf clover. I have no idea where to find that. Wait for a natural time change, just in case, you yeah. know? Hey, Verde. I like talking to you. You want some mystery candy? Really? You just let me have some? Sure, I don't need any more anyway. Here you go. Thank you. Really? That's really nice of- Wait, do you just pull that out of your hair? Oh, hmm? uh, yeah, my curls are hollow inside, so I use them to hold things. It's really handy. Okay, do you keep anything else in there? I do, but I'm not about to curl until... Oh, man, now I really want to know. <laughs> She is a very interesting girl. I'd like to see her in the actual show. There's a quest in the counseling office, and I just can't pass that up. So, uh, we haven't gone in the counseling office since the beginning, so I bet Finnelin's in there. I'm kind of nervous about that. Sleep. I guess you must be tired. You don't get this kind of opportunity often. What are you doing? My thoughts exactly. Hey, sup? You scared the living daylights out of me, Amanda. My bad, but more importantly, we have to seize this chance while we can. What are you up to? How about we put on a puppet show with some control magic? Do you think that's a good idea? When will we ever get another chance to pay her back for, for all those scoldings? You're right. I'm in! Akko, seriously, this is not going to go well for you. Okay, so I use it automatically. Fair enough. We can actually use this on people. That's disturbing. I thought she woke up for a second there. Come on, Akko, move her around. Here goes. <laughs> I did not expect this when I came in here. What are we doing? We could get in big trouble for this. Yeah, and this is as funny as I thought it'd be. It's for me. Try something else, make her do a bridge pose and put her on the floor. You can use your own control magic if you want to do that, Amanda. I was just trying to help you practice your magic, Gonko. Why are I know you, Amanda? You're Oh, 
Uh oh. I can explain, Professor Finnelin. Silence! I'll have to punish you both for roaming around at this hour. For a week from tomorrow, you'll be on laundry duty, Miss Kagari, and you'll help scrub the toilets, Miss O'Neill. Gross. Thankfully, we got time loops. We just end up getting another scolding. Who cares? You won't matter anything once time rolls back. True, but still... Hey, do you know what this is? Oh, that was convenient! Where did you find that? It was on a shelf in the student counseling office, so I slipped it in my pocket. Alright, best side quests ever, and we think we had a puppet potion to do it. Now, thankfully that didn't speed up time, so let's hurry up down to the cafeteria, which is actually right here, thank god. Um, so we're going for the main quest first, not going to take a chance. Hi, Jasminka. Aren't you going to eat dinner? No, I just finished! You just ate dinner and you're already having a snack? What, what? It's nice and soft! I'm good, thanks. Your appetite sure is amazing. I guess that's why you're so good at culinary magic. What's a seed? It's all the sweetness of some fruit? That's it! Can you do things like make stuff less bitter? Of course! So culinary magic is good for something after all. My culinary spells turn regular apples into poison apples. Try a potion? A magic potion? Now that you mention it, the one I got from Professor Ursula did help my mending magic. Trade for a spellstone? I'm <laughs> not trading that for a spellstone. Alright, now I can do culinary related side quests. What's going on over here? Here we're having fruit tarts for breakfast tomorrow. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, now we need to get the potion. We still gotta wait for the doll, don't we? We gotta it's already been get this potion so we can get the doll quickly. Culinary magic. Oh yeah, the store also closes at eight, so we should do this quickly. Good, I have enough. So we gotta reset time and help Carmen, don't we? But we'll do that after we, um... After we see about the stall. Hey, what? Just Minka her candy. That's sad. Still question the point of the candy though, eh? Well, we can do it now if we want. Ah. 
Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I didn't mean to do this quest. Oh, I hope that doesn't screw me over. How late at night are we talking here? Seriously. Oh, it's here right now. Good. Um, we're looking for stairs, aren't we? What? <laughs> oh god. So we had no choice but to do this quest because of the damn professors. I really hope uh, time doesn't speed up again and I ruin my chance for actually going to the courtyard, you know? Hi, Prof! Wow, this is actually bullshit. I cannot escape this side quest. Or at least go the route I want. Nelson again! I literally don't remember the route I took before. Or to actually do this. <sighs> Can I please cancel this quest? Okay, let's wait for the time change, see what happens. Okay, still have time. I just want to go to the courtyard, and the courtyard is this way. Good. Playing the scary music, which means there's something out here. Oh, it's just Akko. Judging by your expression, that spooky doll of yours hasn't shown up. And I've been waiting here for ages! I guess it really was just a rumor then. That girl who said she saw yesterday sure didn't look like she's lying. Maybe it's just a shy and won't come out with you watching like that. What? A shy haunt- A shy haunted doll? Damn it, what a waste of time. Oh yeah, the girl who saw the doll said that Susie saw it too. Did you hear anything about it from her? Really? Susie? She didn't say a word to me. Okay. Well, looks like I'm resetting time again.